12, 13, you've done all the worded questions, then can you please check day map because, whoops, so you can get a rough idea what a previous test might look like just on right angle. Um, previous years we've done it mixed because we had more time. Uh, we were short of time, sorry. Um, trig, revision, there's some revision questions there, but you are only doing questions one, if you want to, questions one to 12, right? After 12, they become non-right angle. So that's for the next part when hopefully we look at that on Thursday's lesson. We are short of time. We lose our double tomorrow. We've got so many seven people out on excursion today. Hopefully they are going to be catching up on this work. And I will remind you that when you miss class, it is your responsibility to catch up. Check day map. And there's one note stuff too. I don't know if I've done much on there, but you check, you contact if you are stuck. All right. If you've done these, you're quietly moving on, and when I say quietly, I mean silently. If you have not done question 12, for starters, you're looking this way and not out the door. Right? Is this advanced maths? Come on. You are not typing and doing other stuff, and help, help you if you do any games this lesson. All right. We've got an isosceles triangle. The equal sides are two-thirds the length of the base. So what I would expect from everybody is that you have at least drawn an isosceles triangle. If you didn't know what an isosceles triangle, you are the Google generation. Look it up. What is an isosceles triangle? Two sides are the same. And it also means that the two angles are the same. Do we agree? And when we split it in half, there's our right angle. And that's the important bit because we are doing right angle trig. Are we happy with that? The bit that bugs us is that we haven't got any numbers. That's an issue. So how are we going to cope with doing the equal sides are two-thirds the length of the base? Two-thirds the length of the base. So, yeah, exactly. Do we know what the length of the base is? No, it's x. Now, don't write this down just yet. Um, if we call this x, that would mean this is 2 thirds x, correct? So, you're not writing this. Yep. But when we're doing our right angle trig stuff. I guess you could. It's not too bad. I guess you could write it down. Um, this is two-thirds x. What's this length? Half x. That's right. So x on two or a half x. If you wanted to avoid the fractions, instead of calling this um, x, what else could you call it? Why would you call it three x? Because then what's two-thirds? of 3, 2. So you could then have it as that's 3x and that is 2x. But then you've still got a fraction over there, so you might as well go, oh, you know what, I'm big, I'm big girl or big boy. I can deal with fractions. So we look at this and again, even if you didn't know what to do, make something up, put it there. And go, you know what? I don't even like working with x's. I'm going to say this was 15. What's two thirds of 15? Pop that there. You could actually use numbers, but do something. People out there who are saying, I tried and they show me nothing, doesn't cut it with me. So we label this is adjacent, this is hypotenuse. So that means we are using cos. We've got cos theta, adjacent over hypotenuse. Someone asked me before, do I need to remember the rules for the test? Absolutely. I'm not giving you the rules and that post will be covered up. And so if you were writing down the rule every time you were doing this, you know them by now. If you've been a bit slack and you haven't been, well, you better start from now on. So we go cos alpha. What is the adjacent? X over 2. 
Now, if I go x over 2 divided by 2 thirds x, that looks hideous. So I'm not going to write it like that. I'm going to use my excellent algebra skills that we did earlier. And we know that when we're using dividing fractions, what do I do? Excellent. I keep the beginning. I replace that with the times and, and I switch and look what happens to those nasty x's. One's upstairs, one's downstairs. So I'm left with cos alpha equals 3 over 4. And then how do I find alpha? In other words, how do I get rid of my cosine? It's called the inverse. Well done, JP. So if you couldn't have done that one, look, I go, fair enough. It's a little bit different to some of the questions that you've done before when they've given you straight out numbers. I don't know. Could be. We've now covered one. But you know what? How could I change it if it was in a test? Oh, the sides of the isosceles are one quarter of the base. How, how can I actually create different questions? Like seriously. All right. Isosceles triangle is drawn with base angles 24 and base 28. All right. So I'm not really caring about, um, what's it called? 24 scale, that's what I mean. Find the base angles of the iso Find the base angles of the isosceles triangle with the same base length, but with treble the area. <laughs> treble? Have a you have a guess? Three times. Okay. So we go G's. That's a little bit kooky, but where are we going to start? The key here is area. How do we find the area of a triangle? Base times height divided by 2. Now, it's going to have the new triangle that we're going to have. It's going to have the same base, correct? So it's still going to be 28 but it's going to have three times the area. Do we agree? Which means the height is going to be different, isn't it? Makes Oscar very happy. Why are you smiling so much? He's just a happy kind of guy. I will be able to find this height, won't I, if I know the area. Would you agree? Because I've got the base. Area is a half base times height. Agreed? So let's imagine I have this area is 10. That would mean this would be 30 equals a half times 28 times height. Do you agree you'd be able to then find height? Get rid of the times by dividing. The problem is we don't know that this area is 10. Could I find the area? I mean, I've got the base. So what do I have to do? I have to find the height, but it's not given to me. I do 10 because I would call this, I know it's H for, it's for height, not hypotenuse. Uh, let's call that X. And this would be? What would this be? What length, sorry? Because I'm looking at the right angle triangle. So this would be 14. So can I ask you, find x and then find the area. Once you've got the area, you're going to times the area by 3. It's going to be a half times 28 times height, which you should then be able to solve. Give it a crack. We sub our information in. What's my theta? 
What's your O? Yep. I mean, it basically tells you what to do, doesn't it? Over 14. Therefore, X is now. A students out there, in fact, and that's all of you. You talking to me? Yeah. Where am I? Yeah, well, sure. I don't have to put the 10. Now, hello. Please notice, I am not going to my calculator. Right? I'm leaving it like this. I'm not going to do a rounded off answer. This because 14, oops. So why I'm going to be as accurate as I possibly can and I'm not going to use a rounded off answer again and again and again. So I'm just going to leave it as uh, area equals a half base times height. What's my base? And my height is this. If I put 14 tan 24 into the calculator, I'm going to round off. Then I'm going to round it, use a rounded off answer here. Then I'm going to use another rounded off answer in here. So I like to just use my calculator at once. So times 14 times 10, 24. You know, look, if you wrote that as a two decimal place, you're not going to be wrong. But I'm just saying, look, let's get to that point where we try and be as accurate as possible. So even with this, look at that. A half times 28 is 14. You can go to your calculator and write what's 14 times 14. I'm so lazy. I'm not even going to bother. What is 14 times 14 quickly in maths? Couldn't we just go 14 squared? 14 squared. You could write 14 times 14. I'm just writing 14 squared. It's less. I'm losing, using less ink. Because what's a half times 28? 14 times 14. If you want to write 14 times 14, go for it. If you wanted to pop this in your calculator, do it. I'm just not bothering. So now, what is my area over here? It's three times this area. Why? Because the question said so. Uh, with treble the area. So I'm now going to say the area is three times this area here, 14 squared times 10, 24 equals a half times 28 times height. How do I get rid of times divide? So therefore H, and that's 14 by the way, isn't it? Three times 14 squared all over. A half of 28 is 14. Now look, you know, use your calculator. I can't be bothered getting mine. I'm leaving it as 3 times 14. But you don't have to write it like this. You use your calculator. You could have used your calculator here here or here, right? I don't care. What's up, Ash? Sorry, man. I'm sorry, it's a little bit messy now. I was about 20 degrees off. Because you rounded? But Aiden, yeah. my year 11 method kids are struggling sometimes because they did not touch it in year 10. Yeah. I'm like, you should be using a graphics calculator all the time. You are going to be staying with me after school Monday and then we're going to have another extended school day. You are wasting your time and my time. What are you doing? Uh, so, do your trick. Oscar, do you need to sit up the front? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
testing in the army test conditions. Yes. So I'm happy that we got the area of that triangle. Yeah. Is anyone else wanting to go through this bit again? No. So the rest of you, you can hear. Some people want to go through this again. So that means you have to be quiet so they can hear. You're quietly doing the next question, having a look. So are we happy with how we got this side here or anything here come up? We're happy with this? We found X using simple truth. And that was our height for the first triangle. And so we popped it into half base times height, the formula. And this is my area. If you want to, you could use your calculator and get this figure. That was equivalent to what we said at the beginning was our area of 10. Yeah? So the question then said, the second triangle that also has a base of 28, its area is treble the first one. Slavi told us treble means three times. So I took the area that we worked out of the first triangle and we times it by three. Now again, I've been lazy. I haven't gone to my calculator and gone three times 14 squared times 10, 24 equals. Partly because, yes, I'm lazy. Partly because I'm keeping it as accurate as I possibly can. Because if you pop this into your calculator, I'm guaranteeing you, you're going to have decimals. Okay? If you want to do that and that makes your life easier, do it. So, the area equals the area half base times height. Do we agree? Half times the base is 28. The height is unknown. I want to get H by itself just being times by basically 14. Do we agree? So how do we get rid of the times 14? That's what I've done. I've divided this side by 14. Put that in your calculator. All I've done here is gone, well, 14 squared is 14 times 14, and 14 cancel. So don't worry about that. If you're happy with this, pop it in your calculator. It'll be the same. Anyway, concentrate. We have limited time, people. Come on. Are we having a lesson at Tech on Tuesday? Will we not? Was it anything you said? Yeah, and I thought we went Tuesday. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought we said Tuesday, but I didn't realize that you We're just trying to confuse you. No, no, no. But I need you to stop and realize and look at what our thing was. We this unit is right angle, which is basically revision of year nine. But the actual stuff that we're doing is non right angle tree. And we need to get that and finish, and we're meant to finish that by the end of the semester. And that's got right angle, non right angle stuff, and it's got unit circle. And then you guys don't, a lot of you aren't doing your homework, and then you're going, Ugh. right? Got to step up. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Got to step up, guys.
So I'm happy we can put it on Thursday. What are you doing? What are you trying to do? It's a triple free day of Thursday. Um, by the way, no. And by the way, excuse me, why are you n debating about this when we should actually be doing in maths? 14, let's go. You guys might have, I don't think I did. Neither do I. What do you talk about if you're on there? Okay, everybody, if you haven't done 14, do it. Try and draw your diagram. Let's make an effort. And to make sure we can compare the pair, can we sort of go that way? Angle of elevation to the top of the, so the building, building is here. Building. Draw a diagram. You okay? Sure. We only got to that point. I did it a slightly different way. Don't we have to find the angles, not just the height? Oh, well, once you've found the height, I'm doing then you can go yeah. opposite. Yeah. 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 Which one? So. Concentrate, you're with us, and we'll circle back, and we'll do that once I've got a moment. But sometimes this will help you with those. Can you do 16 there? Sure. 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 I'm saying sure. But again, you didn't do your homework. Like it's not going to click. You're going to come in and it's going to go whoosh because you haven't done it. So, are you watching? No, that's good. <gasps> I think I might have just been recording in white space. Sorry if I had, guys. Okay, so we've got the angled elevation from a marker on the level of the ground to the top of a building, which is 100 metres high, is 22. Ashley, have you done this question? So, again, we're going through it. You're looking out the window. This is the bit that's killing me, guys. So angle of elevation to the top of a 100 metre building. So that's 100. Where are we going to stick the 22? Bottom left. We all good so far? Okay, part A. Find the distance of the marker from the base of the building. Where am I sticking my X? At the bottom. Now. Put yourself in my place again when I say you're not going to be able to do every single question but some will be easier than the others and those who said I couldn't do anything, I got stuck. Have a look at it. It's opposite and adjacent. Should I expect that you could do this? Yeah. Yes. Would I understand if you then couldn't do part B? Yes. But you've got to do as much as you can. Some questions will be easier than others. And that's what you have to do in a test as well. It's okay if question two you might not have been able to do. Don't spend 10 minutes on it. Skip it. Go and do the questions that you can do. Come back and do the other ones later. All right. What rule am I using? Excellent. We got opposite. We got adjacent. Tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Now, I know my rules, but I still write it down. Tan. 22 equals and I will repeat myself that when you are doing a worded question even if it's on your diagram I still want you to label your sides so I then know oops if you accidentally labeled incorrectly maybe you chose the rule for the correct well, for the for your incorrect labeling yes Right, unknown is downstairs. What do we do? 
Swap. Get your answer. Pop it. Have a look at yellow. We'll do B in yellow. The the dis so find the distance the marker must be moved towards the building so that the angle of elevation becomes 40 degrees. So this chap here has then moved here. And our angle of elevation is now 40 degrees. And you're trying to find this length. Now, we have the whole length, don't we? So how do you think I could find this length? Where's your right angle triangle? Has the height of the building changed? So what are you going to do? Yes, but what do you mean? When you say the same thing, where is my, what, what am I finding? That, um, don't find X, right? X, X is there. X is from there to there. You now want to find Y and you can't call it the same thing otherwise you're saying it's the same length and it's clearly not. Now let's imagine you found Y to be 100. What's this unknown going to be which is what you wanted? Right, you take it away. Is that okay? People were asking and didn't know. Okay. Sorry, forgot to press record. Um, hopefully you got the gist. The angle of elevation is now 37. What should I do? Where am I writing 37? Right, I've got to connect. Connect the dots. That's now 37. Determine the height ooh. determine the height of the volcano above the plane. Oh, that's a bit mean. Sorry, peeps. Um, this one requires you to use simultaneous equations and it's so much easier to do after we have learned the non-right angle trick that I would say, don't worry about it. But if you were able to draw that diagram, brilliant okay you've got the angle of elevations happening um, can any while we're here because you will you will do this question in like two weeks what other information could you tell me on this diagram since we've drawn it let's not put it to waste could you work out any other angles yeah. what other angles well if it's well yeah, yeah. well yeah. you've got 90 plus 37 Okay. So that's going to be 90 take 37, which is 53 degrees. Great. Any other angles? So could you tell me what this angle is? It's a straight, look in a straight line. 180 degrees. So. 143, yes? yes? And could you then tell me what this angle is? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, 166 degrees, 180. Mm. If you can suss that, this becomes a two-line problem when we do non-right angle tree. Don't worry, no, I haven't forgotten you. On day map, we talked about this chest test being here. Ashley! Talked about this test being here. What you need to do is make sure that you do that under test conditions. So I already saw some people opening that up and going, oh, I'll do it now. If you have had issues with tests in the past, especially our last two this term, then what I would suggest, if you want to print it out, sure. But you make sure you have revised first. You think, I've got this. This was a previous test. So then go and see, can I do it? 
and then mark it. I haven't put the solutions up. I will do that maybe tonight, mm, maybe, and then pop it up, okay? So you can mark your work. But do not just do it now, Grace, and use your bookwork to do it. That is not preparing for a test. Thank you.